What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having another fantastic day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another Man 20 video. Today I'm back with another tip video building on that weak close flex mini scheme that we've been talking about in the last couple of videos. Now we've already talked about cover four palms, how to beat it, easy one play touchdowns. We've talked about cover two, how to blow that up for easy touchdowns as well. Today we're going to look at beating cover three with a combination of easy one play touchdowns as well as some short to intermediate route combinations to help move the chains. If you do enjoy the video, you do enjoy the content definitely pop down and hit that like button down below if you want to check out what we do in the future there's also a subscribe button down there as well should be enough to get us started let's jump into it again like the last couple of videos we are in the Oakland playbook we're going to be looking at weak close flex in particular I'm using the Vikings as I've talked about they have a slot apprentice Adam Thielen corner routes, post routes. That's definitely gonna help us put together some really nice route combinations. All right, getting into it. Weak close flex. Let's look at our trusty PA boot shot. On defense, we can play some big nickel. So cover three sky. Like I've talked about in previous videos, where you are on the field is really important. Now for most of my setups, I like to be on a hash to the left or right hash. At the moment we're on the left, so the wide side of the field is going to be the right side. That's going to give our players a little bit more space to make some plays. Alright, let's jump straight into our very first setup. Again, PA boot shot, that deep post is going to kill a lot of coverages. Cover 3 is one of them. Adam Thielen is on a corner route, we'll motion him over. He is going to attract the attention of the corner. We've got a few check down routes, we've got the curl and we've got the wheel as well. Let's run this play. On the snap, motion snap, we get a cut block on the outside. You see Stefan Diggs get past the safety. And that's an easy bomb down the sidelines. Checking out another setup, we're still attacking the same thing. So we want the deep post. This time we've got Dalvin Cook spread out. We've got the comeback, so that's going to do the same thing as the corner. It's going to attract that outside corner. But this time we've got a few extra routes to look at as well. We've got the drag, we've got the in, we've got the wheel. Lots of plays to look at. So if we don't get the bomb, lots of things to check down to. Going ahead and running this play, we get the double team there. Roll to the outside, throw the dime another touchdown. Looking at the next setup, not something that's going to toast your opponent for a touchdown, but definitely something that's going to allow you to move the chains. We've got the wheel flat combination on the right, looking for the wheel once the defender goes out to the flat. On the other side, we've got a motioned out post route, so Diggs is going to attract the corner and any hook zones. He's going to get Adam Thielen towards the sideline on that post route. Running this play, on the snap, motion. Look at that post route, even with Joey Bosa trying to take us down, that's an easy play right there. Doing the same exact setup, but this time looking at the wheel, get a nice block there. On the inside, Dalvin Cook, an easy pass. You see the linebacker drift out to the flat, you're going to get your running back wide open, that's a great play against cover three. For the next place we're going to jump into a different play, this time looking at bench flat, something we've looked at in the past. This is going to be the setup we're looking at here, we're going to turn this corner post into a double post combination, motioning over digs, on the snap, alright so we've got Thielen coming over the top, easy play there. Going ahead and running the same play now just to show that Stefan Diggs will get open against cover three as well over the top. Even with a zoned out player like Du and James, still able to make the throw pretty comfortably. Moving on to the next setup, this is going to be our second cover three beta for a one play touchdown. And the route combination we really want to focus on is that corner streak combination on the right. Diggs is going to run a corner, once he gets to the outside he's going to drag down the corner and you're going to have the streak able to get over the top and fit into the gap between the safety and the corner. Alright, going ahead and running that play, see if we can get some good blocks. Throwing it to the outside, easy one play touchdown to Adam Thielen. What you would have seen is the safety backing up because he's got the tight end on one side, the streak coming from the wide receiver on the other. He just has to keep dropping back to make sure he can cover both. While he's still backing up, we're able to throw an outside pass lead to the wide receiver. That's going to be an easy touchdown. Looking at a slightly different setup, we've brought back the wheel flat combination, so that's going to get open on the left. But we still have a chance for that combination on the right, that street corner to get open and still beat the cover three for a touchdown. Going ahead and running that play, get a chop block on the outside. Can we get a good throw to the outside? 
All right, it's a bad safety. In months, that's probably not a throw you're going to be able to make, but that wheel route came wide open again, so definitely something you can look at there. The last play we're gonna look at to beat cover three is going to be the double wheel flat. So we've got both backs out of the backfield of running wheel routes. We've got two flats that are going to help them both get open against cover three. We're gonna have an in route from Stefan Diggs, kind of just as a bailout route over the middle if the user is there and they leave it wide open. From here, we can motion out Adam Thielen, so snap that. On the right, you saw the fullback get wide open. Going ahead and running the same play again, this time looking on the left. There's a nice gap for the running back to fit in. Again, a nice easy gain, 10, 15 yards. It's gonna help you move the chains. Keep picking up those first downs, move down the field. Now I said that was the last play, but I've just been playing around for a little bit in practice mode, and I think I found another play that I quite like. This play is going to be out of PA boot shot. It's going to use a couple of the stock plays to our advantage. Now, as you can see, we've got a makeshift wheel flat combination with this kind of flat table route thing that the fullback is running. We've got Thielen running a bit of a clear out straight through the middle, hoping that we can get Stefan Diggs deep on his post. And our tight end is in a delay flat. If we have nothing open, maybe the user covers the wheel, send out the delay fade, hit the tight end in the middle of the field. Going ahead and running that. Look how wide open the running back is. On the run as well. Start trying to juke him, get a bit more sticky than me. Running the play again, this time we're going to look at the delay fade. So we send it. Small gain, sometimes enough for the first down. If the user is there trying to cover the deep post, Sometimes you can end up making a big gain from a delay fade. Definitely something to keep in the back pocket if need be. And I think we're gonna finish up there. That's gonna be two one play touchdowns against cover three out of this week close flex formation. We looked at a bunch of route combinations, so wheel flat, post hitches, double posts, double wheels. Also making use of the delay fade as well. Just a whole lot of plays that are gonna help you with some shorter intermediate route combinations to help move the chain, move yourself down the field. If there were any particular tips in this video that you found useful, or maybe some plays that you've used in the cover two beta and the cover four palms beaters, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'm always wanting to know what tips are helping people out the most. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy, everyone. You can call me Spree. And we out.